Okay. Type certificate data sheet. Why type certificate data sheet? Because the type certificate will refer to this TCDS. Hmm. The aircraft to be airworthy. Okay, the aircraft to be airworthy. The aircraft to be airworthy when hmm. everything as per the TC. Okay. You cannot change the aircraft because you will change the TC. The aircraft has to be maintained as per the TC. The TC just one page document. So what can you understand about it? That's why the TC came with the TCDS. The okay. TCDS explain about the aircraft. Hmm. So everything that you do, you have to maintain the information. You have to maintain the aircraft, you have to ensure the aircraft is always in according with this TCDS. Hmm. So your role as technical service engineer is to ensure the aircraft is always in according to this TCDS. And you have, if you have any changes and any modification, you must make sure it's still aligned to TCDS and you will get, and then you have to be approved to do that. You have mm -hmm. to approve to do it, to do that and you have the, 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 the thing that you do must be approved. Mean that you must be in a pro organization first to do the changes and whatever changes that you do must be approved. That's why for the minor changes, the organization can approve it. For the major, you still have to go to the DCA. Yes. Because whatever you do on the aircraft, you will change the aircraft type certificate. What is the most important thing now is chapter two, certification basis. Mm. The aircraft was certified to this certification basis. Mm. Uh, this is certification basis and you can see there's one reference date and two state of design and three state of design awareness basis mm. and here. Year 25 change 8. So this is how the aircraft was certified. It was certified to year 25 change eight. So it means that now, if you are working on the aircraft, you must understand JR25. Mm. Okay. So basically, you have to go for the training of JR25. <laughs> okay, anyway, mm. where can we get this JR25? It's been uh, years back. So, we have now CS25. So, hopefully, whatever information that you know in the CS25 mm -hmm. can, uh, will be able for you to try to uh, interpret the JR25 if you need to. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the current aircraft designed to CS25. Mm. You are not operating the current aircraft, you are operating this ATR. So whatever you do, you must go back to this jar. Mm. So by right, you have to go for the JAR 25 training, but who can do the training? Oh, I also do not do not know JAR 25. Exactly. I just know CS 25, FAR 25. So that information in the CS and FAR 25, hopefully mm. will be able for you to interpret the JAR 25. Okay. Okay. What I'm trying to show here, it, it, that is important of why we need to learn this because we are learning the certification basis. Hmm. And let's look at, say, the latest aircraft. We have, say, A350. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I think you lose it, isn't it? You don't see now. Okay, now. Let me reshare. Okay. Now we have A350 advanced mm. in the set basis. Page 5. In the set basis. Here is very clear. YASA certification spec CS25 and 8. 
Yes, if you're operating A350, yes, you have to go through CS25. Hmm. So it's valid for you. Uh, now you're operating ATR. Then, uh, what, like I say again, who, who can teach you GR25? Hmm. So, what, so that's why when we go through CS25, hopefully, we can we are able to interpret the GR25 because uh, it's not much different. It's almost identical. Okay, let's look at your point. 